YouTube fam, what is good, everybody? I'm your guy Rez, and we are back again for another dope episode on my channel. Welcome. So in today's episode, guys, I have a sneaker pickup that I want to share with y'all. And honestly, I am very surprised that I actually have this sneaker in my collection at the moment because lately with how things are going with the shoe game, it's not looking good for me. It's not looking good for a lot of people, to be honest with you. But Yo, I hit a W, I hit a couple of W's actually on this particular sneaker. Now, before I jump any further into the video, if this is your first time tuning into the channel, welcome. I appreciate y'all hopping on and giving me the time of day. Please consider hitting that like button as well as subscribing to the channel and hit the bell notification to stay updated as soon as I post anything on the channel. I show a lot of stuff that I collect, not just sneakers, but you know, jerseys, hats, toys, collectibles, vlogs, and just basically what my life revolves around. So today I am very humbled and honored to show showcase this sneaker with y'all today you guys are looking at the box this is a nike air jordan retro 12 and the sneaker is none other than this classic silhouette and colorway right here this guys is the air jordan 12s dubbed as the playoff editions So this shoe is definitely a banger, man. I had this sneaker countless times in the collection, to be quite honest with you. I had the OG pair from 97. Um, I had like the 2004 pair that dropped uh, like way back in the day. Then I also had the other release that they did. I think it was 2012 when they re-re-released them, if I'm not mistaken, re-re-re-released uh, them. <laughs> so yeah, these sneakers, guys, you know, the thing with Jordan brand and just a lot of sneakers in general is that they come back. You know what I'm saying? No shoe is safe. And that's kind of what prompted me to make a decision to not pay resell or at least ridiculous amounts of resell anymore. So this sneaker is one of my favorite silhouettes for the Jordan 12 colorway. I think between these and the flu games, those are my most favorite ones that I own in my personal collection and you know just my jordan 12 collection but you know going back into this sneaker and this colorway guys just a brief history you know uh this shoe was originally worn in 97 uh jordan wore these during the playoffs hence how it got the nickname and this was like around the time when jordan and the chicago bulls got their fifth championship so this definitely played a pivotal role i think for jordan's you know performance playing in the playoffs and also in the finals and winning it with the Bulls. So, you know, it's definitely a, a historical shoe for Jumpman Jordan enthusiasts. Fast forward to today, it is still a timeless classic. This shoe actually dropped on Nike.com and other major retailers, shoe retailers, you know. I actually got this from Shoe Palace, so big ups to the people over at Shoe Palace uh, for really blessing me for this. You know, I honestly won multiple pairs of this shoe, not just one. Um, I actually sold one so I don't have that pair anymore. But as you can see, uh, I have two pairs right here. I have a third box, uh, which is in my storage at the moment, so I can't pull it out. But I won four pairs of these Jordan 12s. And you, you're probably wondering like, yo, what the heck are you gonna do with four pairs? So I don't need that many pairs. If you guys are interested, I am going to be doing or currently doing a raffle for these. If you wanna win a pair of Air Jordan 12 Retros, the playoffs, the 2022 release, uh, check out my Instagram page on the Closet of Res. I will leave it in the link in the description if you wanna take a look on how you could win a size 11 for really, really low, like way below retail, guys. So check it out for more details. But going back to the shoes quality, guys, I'm actually very impressed with this. You know, they did a really great job, in my opinion, on the leather of this. This is tumbled leather from the entire upper of the shoe. You could see that there is a tumbled leather finish. <laughs> the 
The shoe also features black oval laces and you could see the two and the three right there for 23 that is stitched onto the upper of the tongue. Tongue also features a red Jumpman that is embroidered. Moving upward on the shoe, you have the silver tips where you could loop the laces through and you could see the little Jumpmans in that chrome metallic finish. The shoe also has that nice contrast of the white as you can see that is on the side of the sneaker. You get a white bottom for a sole as well with the carbon fiber shank included. And you also have black pods on the shoe as well for the traction followed with a black jump man. And you have a little slit right there with that red 23. Looking in the inliner of the shoe, you could see that it has a red Jumpman that is printed onto the insole, as well as the size sticker, which is a size 11. The shoe also features a silver plastic material, which reads Jumpman on the outer part of the shoe. And then inside, you also have that silver finish plastic piece right there as well. Moving on the back of the shoe, you have the rubberized 23 in that red coloring. And then you also have a heel tab on the back, which you could stick your finger through. And then you have this nice little font here, which reads Jordan. And then it says quality inspired by the greatest player ever. The price point on the 2022 version of this sneaker retailed for $210 after tax. It was like $218 and some change, but you know, guys, I know the prices are just continuing to go up every year. It seems like for shoes. And uh, you know, I feel like there's gonna be a point where people are just gonna be like, yo, when is enough going to be enough? If I already had this shoe, I probably wouldn't, wouldn't have gotten this one, to be honest with you. Um, I had this pair many, many, many times and I sold them many, many, many times. But I think now that this one is in my possession and they made the corrections that I was complaining about back with the previous pair in 2012, I think it's safe to say this is gonna stay in my collection. Overall, my final thoughts on this shoe, this is one of my favorite OG colorways to date for sure. You know, some OG Jordans I'm not really fans of, like certain colorways and stuff like that. Uh, for the 12s, you know, I'm not like a huge 12s guy, but I definitely love the playoffs and the flu games. I think those are my most favorite out of those. And then the Cherry 12s are also pretty dope in my humble opinion, but I think the playoff one is definitely my most favorite of the air jordan 12 model and colorways also i love the fact that they use tumble leather on these 12s man it just makes the shoe look so like vintage and nostalgic you know uh, definitely screams 90s for sure and uh, you know just having this is a timeless classic especially if you're a jordan head i also like the fact that jordan brand and nike bring back like these old school style boxes right here obviously this box is reminiscent to the jordans from the 90s uh so you know i like that it's a nice addition it makes the shoe very unique anyways guys that is going to wrap up my review for the 2022 air jordan 12 model dubbed as the playoff please share your thoughts in the comment section below and let me know what you guys think about this shoe let me know what you guys think about this colorway did you guys cop did you guys pass did you guys try to cop did you get an l did you get a w you know share your thoughts in the comment section below man let's have a conversation i appreciate everybody watching guys stay tuned plenty more content to come uh, but i'm gonna end it here guys so i hope you enjoy this review your boy rez signing off we out Peace.